Hello everyone! This is Foxhall. Guess what I'm playing? Yeah, it's probably Vagante. Vagante. However you like to say it. So, I was playing Minecraft a little bit. And I got to a point where it's just kind of repetitive right now. I'm just working on farms and trying to get enough emeralds so I can get um, the Eyes of Enders quickly. And considering I'm at that point, I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm just going to wait on recording for Minecraft for a little bit. So, I'm going to continue playing Minecraft off screen for a bit. Up until a point. So, right now, we'll just go ahead and play this game. I'm using a controller for this game because. For these side square league type games, it's a lot better. So, can I just. Oh, here we go. So, I have played this a little bit in the past. So, you see, um. As you unlock more things in this game, you have these little perks, which they call the background of the characters. Like the pride, far sighted, snake eater, strong, illiterate, and bookworm. So, each time you get like achievements unlocked, I believe, that's when they give you more backgrounds for the characters. And they give you some perks. So, let's pick a class. So the knight is a standard character, using, and, actually, you know, I should stop this off. Each of the classes don't really change, you know, too much of the gameplay. The only thing it changes is what your special perks are or your abilities. Like for instance, for the knight, once you start putting some points in, some you know, attribute points in, you can put points into sword, using the sword or defending. Uh, can't remember what else. But for the mate, for well, for the rogue, they can turn invisible. So when they ever hit something, they can do critical damage. They focus in archery as well, so that's the difference with Rogue Mage. If I have to tell you that they specialize in wands and magic, then you need some help. For the Wildling, punching. Honestly, that's all I ever see these guys do is punch and nothing else. So they're kind of more dangerous and hard to use. So. I'm going to be staying away from them for a little bit, even though they are kind of weird and fun in their own right. So, let's go back to the knight, because I like using the knight. I like using the one with the red hat. So, let's see. We got deprived. You have nothing to your name but the clothes you wear. So, I'm guessing that starts you out with, like, no, no equipment. You have exceptional long-ranged vision, which makes you excellent with a bow, but it's hard for you to make out close objects. Aww. Snake Eater, your metabolism handles things differently than other people. Poison potions heal you, but healing potions have reduced effects. Also, you're slightly resi resistant to poison. Oh. Strong. You've always been slightly stronger than your peers. Alright. Illiterate. Instead of going to school and learning how to read, you spent your time th tinkering with explosives. Scrolls and books are useless to you, but you start with five bombs. That might actually be nice with as a knight, but I feel as though you shouldn't really um, handicap yourself in that one regard. So, Bookworm, you spent most of your life indoors reading books. Spells learned through reading a book start at level 2, but your strength and defense suffer a penalty. Oh, I'll just go strong. So, how do we start? Oh, just gotta press the start button. Alright, so, what's this for? Oh. Okay, don't press that button. So, I think it was showing like R2? Yeah. Uh... Wildling, reach the forest. Alright. That one's locked. 
Bookworm, read. So this tells you how you unlock things. Alternate cave theme, beat the cave. Mm. Alright, so let's go ahead and I just show up the game. Alright, let's see if I'm right. Play. So this is attack. That is jump. And I don't know what else does anything else. So. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Uh oh. Get up here. Get up here. I don't. I forgot how to throw. I don't know if that slime hit me or not. So, yeah. You want to go ahead and, like, tech walls in this game every once in a while because you don't know if. You're going to run into a point where, um, there'll be a hidden wall. So that's why I just went ahead and started attacking a random wall. Because I always make sure. So, I forgot to level up, so I'm trying to get over there now. Here we go. Let's see. So, if I put a level into this, that's when... Level up, press X. Alright. There. And now, since I love my sword, I can do a special down attack. Special down attack. Uh, oh, the new level one is sharp movement. Slide backwards or forwards while stabbing. Finger. So they changed the level one for that. So they made it so I can slide now with the sword a little bit. So slides will kill you instantly if you're unaware. Not, did I say slimes? I meant spikes. Spikes will kill you instantly. There's also other dangers, such as falling rocks. So there are traps in this game. Watch out for traps. Uh, equip. Charge up extra damage while walking. Alright, neat. So there's a little bar now underneath my guy. If you notice, there's a yellow bar right below my character icon. That will actually go across the screen. Once it does, you level up once you get to the new area. You don't level up if it doesn't charge up all the way when you go to the new area. Oh, come on. I'm trying to learn how to throw again. There we go. Hmm. Looks like I can't go over there, but I can't. Got ya, got ya. Uh, you know, I wonder if I actually recorded this. Shoot! As I'm talking about the boulders. Because that wasn't exactly what I was talking about before. Alright, so. Looks odd. I've never seen that little block there. Of course! Of course. It was the new physics for the. the bow. No, not the bow, the wall trap. Because there were wall traps in the game. And I didn't know that's what the wall traps turned into, how they look like now. Alright, so let's continue on. Alright, so let's learn how to throw. Alright, so it's. It's, it's just X on my keyboard then. Uh, maybe some sc scrolls will help us. Oh, it's, a, it's an, some sort of thing that you need to use on um, another item of some sort. Oh, shoot. Ow. <sighs> I keep forgetting to level up. There we go. It looks like we got a dragon on this level. It will show you bosses a little bit, sometimes. Like this one, it's showing me it, it's over there. Um, you can just go to the very end of the level. In fact, you can do that for the entire game. You don't need to fight the boss. But, fighting the boss will give you perks of some sort. There we go. Portal book? Eh, might as well read it because I got nothing else. 
So, how this game does magic is you have charges for each bell. So, you don't have magic points or anything, so you don't have to worry about it that way. Oh, jeez. Is that a shrine of some sort? Let's see, I think it was telling me the shackled. Yeah. I forgot what the shackled does. I think it takes cursed weapons and makes them so you are stuck with them forever, but makes them better. Because normally you can disenchant, um, well, remove the cursed element from an item. But if you don't do that. So if you don't do that, the, they'll become um, god cursed, and all the stats on that item will become improved. Yeah, they changed this game a lot since last time I was on. I believe I had this game only recorded on, um, not recorded, but at least only streamed. I had never recorded this game for YouTube. I picked up sandals. Jumping on enemies deals damage. Nice. What's this? Freezing. Coated with poison. Alright. So, that's not really too useful. H. Oh, oops. Hey, you got something to teleport with now. How do you. Oh, that's stupid. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm trying to change, I figure out how to change my weapon. Come on. Just trying to figure out how to make it so I can switch weapons without having to go in here and like equip and unequip. Cause I remember it was some sort of combination. There we go. You have to hold down left two. Alright. Oh whoops. Ah! This isn't ending too well for me. I'm trying to look for some water. No, it's gonna kill me! <sighs> The yeah, Jack is a little bit difficult tonight. But again, there's lots of things difficult with certain other characters. So let's go back in. Let's go back in. And I was stupid. See, that's a lot nicer to have. Because then I can just do that and, like, easily kill stuff. So, I saw a chicken. We can cook the chicken at fire, but I believe the only place is a fireplace is at the beginning of a new area. So, I think it gives you more health if it's still um, alive, too. So, I'm just going to leave it down there for now. Ow, ow. Right, I keep forgetting to get that point in. So hey, even though I got good equipment on that last level, I don't have any of it because I died. And I knew 
finished, not with nothing, the next level. Yeah, fun. What is this? The deranged. That is a shrine, I believe. All you do is you donate items to it, and it may give you per like random stuff, but it may also do bad stuff to you as well. Ooh, potion. So I know I would deal with the potions too, so they could all be very deadly and painful, or they could be nice. Yeah. I believe the the mage has a, a little attribute you can do, so that all potions you find will automatically be de be detected. All right, there was a trap over there. It was uh, used up. Alright, so let's go see what these squirrels are. Uncursed, so anything I had on me is just now uncursed, but I don't have anything. So that's enchant, so this must be identify. So potion of strength is imbued with the fortitude of a giant. Interesting. So let's see. Looking at the map, there's still something far below. So let's go down there and check what's down here. That was a lot of damage I didn't need to take. It looks like there's something still down below on the map. I don't see a way to get there. What is this? The bloody? Ah! <laughs> uh, did that actually do anything good for me? Maybe? I don't know. But now that dragon's a lot more dangerous, because if I... It looks like I get hit by a mutant once, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, so... And there's nothing else in them. Oh, we never went to the store. Let's go down to the store real quick. Wait, was the store on this map? Or was it the pier that it might have been the previous map? Shoot. Um, right then, we're pretty much doomed because I have no way to get any more healing items or anything. Unless there's something hidden in the wall. Nope. Arrows, lovely. I was trying to jump around him. And then I missed cling onto the wall. Oh well, so let's see. What else do we have? Step. 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 <laughs> um, get that again. Up here, no. Let's try and get you to activate that trap up there. Hmm. Ah! I activated myself. Lovely. There's nothing up here anyway. Stop. I was about to say, I don't want to activate that trap. There's nothing here. And the slums are easy ish.
bandits are difficult a little bit. Oh, are they goblins? I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh, magic mapping. It shows me where everything is. And there is one hidden area up there. How the heck do you get up there? Because the main thing with the areas is you should be always able to get there. Ah, it's on the very top right there. Right. Oh, bandit. There we go. And we have a wizard's hat. It's cursed! But it slows everyone around me. So, it's actually pretty okay, so I don't mind that it's cursed. But I would l like to take it off. Um, and anyone around me will get slowed down because it has a slowing aura. So, that may be useful. And there's the dragon. This might actually be more useful, just doing this to him. Oops. Nope. Oh. Alright. Stab. Ow. Hmm. I'll get you someday. Dragon. Someday. Whoops. Oh, come on. So, just don't stand below him. There we go. And there's a key. The key will open up a secret chest somewhere. Not, well, not really secret, but it opens up a chest that can only get opened up by the key for each level, which means if you kill a boss and you just, if you don't want to open up the chest on this level, you can always save it for the next one so you don't actually lose out on not using the key. There's also, I believe, a secret door you can go to. And if you use the key on that door, it will open it up. And it's a really tough area in there compared to everything else because it has ghosts and the ghosts will go through walls. Yeah, and they have like more difficult versions as well of the ghosts than regular guys. Let's see what we have. A uh, blessed, blessed, flanged mace, burning, coated with poison. Uh, lower dexterity, so I think. Just most of my bows, so bows is not bows are not as good as that. So not the spicy kind of mace. Oh. <laughs> mm. Come on, guy. Come on, come on. Whack. Kill him and go. Is it still coated with poison? Yes, it is. What if that ever worked ones out? Oh, that's nice, because I don't have to have actually direct line of sight. And I'm not even going to bother, like, using that. Oh gosh, that was a trap. That I somehow avoided. What's that bee up there for? Is that for baloney? Is there baloney up there? I am looking at the map, and I see a big bee. Unless the start. It might have been the start location. What's this? The light? Oh, he healed me! Oh, fish. Fish. Let's see. Magic stone. 
Do we have any identifier? We might. Death protection, yes. Death protection will make it so I don't take damage. Potion of defense. Regeneration, nice. We can heal. I'm wondering if the light actually increases my light range as well. That's why I'm mostly doing it. Die! Don't get me stuck. Uh, scholar? So what's the drop button? Drop is B. Did you do anything? And I feel that I should have waited until I had more books. Die. Oh. Spikes. And this is increased chance of finding magic items. Nice. Alright, so we need to see what else is hidden in the rest of the area. Oh, shop. So yeah, if you go and try to upset this guy, he will murder you. It takes a while for him to murder you, but still. Uh, the bomb would be nice for any bars so that gives me too much trouble, but let's see what else we got. Scroll of Identify. Hmm. Pushing of strength. I think we're good for now. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm really liking this maze because I can hit things that I'm, I can't normally hit. Uh, looks like that's a. Oh. Uh, something? There we go. It was on a disenchant or something, whatever it said, uncurse. So I just uncursed my wizard's hat so I could take it off if I find something better. And looks like the map is fully explored because I use magic mapping so I know where everything is. And everything looks explored, so let's go. Explore. Oh, see, now is the level up icon. Let's heal for. Yeah, sitting at the camp heals you, and that book over there, this one, this one allows you to save. Alright, so let's see, go over here. So the next one that I can get is Omnistab. Hold down an attack while falling for a falling attack. Oh, hold up to do a weaker overhead of slash. And holy gives me angelic wings, take no damage from falling. Ooh. Next level of that is swinging your weapon after damaging enemies manifests holy light. Is that good or bad? Or is that useful? Is it just pretty? So, holy is level 3. Attacks cannot kill you unless your HP is 0. Attacks cannot kill you unless your HP is 0. I guess that means I can't actually die in one full hit. They have to kill, they have to reduce my HP to actually zero before they can kill me, so. I'm only having a feeling that's what it means. So let's say that I have two HP left and they hit me. I think you can only reduce me to the minimum amount before it can kill me. So they have to hit me twice, no matter what. Let's see, luck affects your critical hit rate as well as chance, as well as chance that. Increases your damage, special weapon. So, defense, hold down to block physical attacks. Alright, we might want to do holy because we don't know if we're ever going to fall. I know that was my biggest problem in the past, is I accidentally fall to my death. The place feels a little spooky. Oh, I don't like that. I never got that before. Alright. 
I'm gonna go and just like restart my stream, so not stream, but recording, so that I don't have a recording that's longer than 30 minutes. Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Bye.